What is cracking yo? Here with Evil Baby and a little muggy morning here in Buena Park. But we're here for Not Spray Farm. And we're gonna go and check out the boysenberry because it started yesterday, but they closed early. So now we are starting today to go and check out some stuff. So we walk in looking to see what they have for the boysenberry festival and they have the boysenberry banana cutter. Was in cut out. You got the swirl cookie, which is right there, and then you have the sushi burrito, which is right here. This is stuff you can use for your tasting card. So if you guys have a tasting card, this is some of the stuff they have here out, pre-made, ready for you. But look at that cookie. No, you're good. You're good. The cookie looks very delicious. And you guys remember last year the hot, the blondy bread last year. This was actually pretty decent. That was good. This was always good. And of course, the boysenberry, that one there, is always very delicious. Of course, she had some Snoopy cupcakes as well. If you guys like the Snoopy cupcakes, that is good. Oh my God, look at this, it's scrumptious. It's so... But this year, I'm not sure we're gonna try yet. Evil Babies on Ghost Raiders, so we're still deciding to maybe try the cookie. Of course, they got some more boysenberry sugar cookies for three fifty. dollars They got the boysenberry cheese danish for $6. Look at that description. This one usually looks really good. For three fifty. dollars that's not too bad. Of course, the boysenberry cinnamon, 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 cinnamon buns. And then, of course, the boysenberry macaroons for three fifty. dollars Those look pretty tasty. But this looks really good. Pretty decent. But look at that. That looks delish. Totally. So, all over the park, you can find casing cards everywhere. So you're gonna find spots where you can go and find treats. And of course the bakery does have these right here, the boysenberry waffle. You have to ask inside. So if you want the boysenberry waffle, you need to ask them. Same with the cucumber lemonade. They will make that when you ask for them. When you go. So Knott's actually has their kiosk up where you can scan and you can find all the tasting cards and all the drink offerings here in the park. Okay, so they got the mudslide this year and this is what we're gonna be trying. It's mudslide over ice. Also, they have like the, the boysenberry um, potatoes and she got the wings. So we're gonna try both of these out. Go ahead. I'll let her choose first. Choose wisely. It's good. So we're gonna try the must like because that last year was very strong. This year we're gonna see if it's just as strong. Just water down. Kumbaya. Over ice is water down. Oh my god, that's a bummer. There's no flavor. You can barely taste the alcohol. But that is water down. They do put a lot of cream on here on the on the, on the potato, the big potato they have. It's tasting with the Green onion chives and the bacon, it gives it more flavor. But I don't know, a little too sweet for me on my potato. We're gonna dive into the chicken wing, chicken wing. A little sweet. <coughs> Guys, spicy, a little spicy. Alright, so the chicken is actually pretty good. It's not as spicy, it's got a little kick. When you first bite into it, but it's not that bad. So just to note, as you get further down into the drink, into the syrupy part, then it gets a little bit more flavor, a little bit more sweeter. But would I get this again? Not really. Maybe with the straw pie it tastes better, but when you drink with a cup, it tastes watered down. I don't know. But like I said, when you get to the syrup, it gets some flavor, but it's like drinking water down the taste of alcohol. Kind of a bummer. Maybe I just got a bad batch. I don't know. So we're skipping to dessert. You can get the boysenberry waffle here at the Ghost Town Grub. So this is what I'm getting right now. Evil Baby is gonna try it as well. Now it takes a while for the boysenberry waffle, and the whipped cream does not pretty quick. Mm. The fresh waffle, the cream, the cream melts really quick with the waffle. Mm. Very sweet, serving. That's good though. I like it. That's actually pretty good. A little mini funnel cake. Not bad. These are ice cream. Ice cream is puppy. That will be good. So since the mudslide was watered down, I had to redeem myself. I had to go to Calico and get myself a margarita. 
They didn't have my hard soda no more, so I get something different. But I definitely need something to redeem because a water down drink and knots just doesn't work. So there we go. All right, so Evil Baby is gonna try the pickle pizza they have here at the prop shop. I am not brave enough to try it, but she is. There's a pickle right here under the... All right, let's go. This pickle girl pizza. What do you describe it as? It's regular pickle. So I, I just, I don't know what sauce that is. It just, just pickles and pineapple don't belong on pizza. I'm just saying. Certain things I won't try. The pickle pizza, I would not try. It looks interesting, but I don't think I have tolerance for that. Like I said, pickles and pineapples do not belong on pizza. So when you come to the tasting card tap room over here, they have some good selections. They got the, the bread pudding, they got the chicken wings, the loaded potato bowl, the salmon, the board, the sushi burrito, the cauliflower bites. Now, Evil Baby and I, we got the chicken and the potatoes, but you see how it's all set up in here. It's all set up, decked out. What you need to do is, you need to stand this line right here. You go to the register, they scan your card that you have, and then you go to the different, they give you a little receipt. Then you go take that receipt to all the little booths here, as well as the booths right over here. But the mudslide is right there in that corner. So you, the mudslide does work on the card, but I like how the setting is. You walk in here, it smells like a vineyard. You can smell like the alcohol, it's like weird. But yeah, that's how it's set up here. You all excited to take a picture of Snoopy? When coming to Poisonberry or Knott's or Camp Snoopy, you gotta come and say hi to the Beagle. That was funny. Here we go, she's next. All right, so I actually worked my daughter when we went to uh, the Boysenberry Festival. She literally got tired at We didn't test to try a lot of stuff. So, but I do want to talk about the the, um, the cards you do here for for Boysenberry. You do get six options with the cards. Uh, you get three drinks. I think the drinks are in the back, and then the foods and snacks are in the front. So make sure you guys keep them. They are good until uh, next month, which is also a good thing. But you get six of them for $56, something like that, $53. I can't remember the, the total amount, but it's something like that. But it's actually really cool. So I'm looking forward to going again and uh, filling up the card and trying more stuff. So if you guys try some stuff, let me know what your thoughts are below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, make sure you guys do like, subscribe, and hope you had a good one. And let me know what you guys tried.